Okay, we're going to start off by removing all the screws holding the Tyrannus box together. Now we want to carefully crack the case into its two halves. Once the case is open, we need to remove the ribbon cable by gently using tweezers or small pliers unlocking the ribbon cable connector. Now that we are inside, we have to remove the spot of hot glue that is covering the stock antenna soldered connection. Now you want to apply a little bit of rosin flux. Go ahead and heat up the solder connections until the solder just melts and then the old wire can be removed. Use some braided solder wick to remove the excess solder. Now with a pair of pliers, go ahead and pinch the connector holding the stock one in place. It will just slide right out the top. The RP SMA female connector measures out at just under a quarter of an inch. Now I'll take a quarter inch drill bit and add a new hole. I didn't like the idea of using hot glue or anything like that to try and hold the antenna in place in the existing hole. This seems like a much sturdier connection to me. Now I'm going to secure it in place with a little bit of blue Loctite. Make sure to only get the Loctite on the threaded section of the nut. We don't want to get any on top where the antenna is going to actually connect. Go ahead and tighten it into place with an open end wrench. Now we need to trim the coax cable to the proper length. We need to go ahead and trim the outer coating, being careful not to cut into the shielding ground. Once that is done, go ahead and pull the shielding to the side. Now we can trim a little off the center insulation to get access to the center conductor.
Once again, add some flux. This is before we pre-tin our wires. Now I have a little bit of solder on the tip of the iron. I'm going to go ahead and hold it into place and just put a little heat on the center conductor and it will hold it. Be careful not to overheat it and burn the original traces. Now we can bend the grounding shielding wire into place making sure to land on the grounding pad and go ahead and solder that. Now inspect your connection. Make sure there are no solder bridges between the ground and center conductor. Now to finish it up, let's add a little bit of hot glue just like the original one had. This will help hold it in place. Now we can start the reassembly. Start by reinserting the ribbon cables. Go ahead and lock them back in. Now reinsert the screws and make sure they're all tight. Now we can go ahead and screw on our new antenna of choice.